People used to do too much. Them being dancers. Oh my God. What you doing all that for? Just because she jumped for a boy, like, you know, like, like bitch, I'll beat your ass. Like, maybe we, we was really the big three. They wanna talk about problems all day. So that's why it's no peace here today. Everybody got issues, like yeah, I get pressed, but that's why I keep my shit straight. Talk about it, be about it, what's next? Been new, these males obsessed. I don't care about no clout or text. They go hit my phones, they see that I left. Jana. What's good, y'all? You're back with the life of Jana and today. I'm gonna be giving y'all a story time on my high school chair experience. Let me just tell y'all what the hell went on and the good times and the bad times, but anyways, and the drama. But let's get into it. All right, so as y'all know, I started, well, as some of y'all know, um, I cheered for Weekway High School and I cheered for Arts High School. Let me tell y'all about Weekway. So I first started cheering for Weekway when I was, I think, 12 years old, and I started off as a mascot. I was in the seventh grade. And I was more comfortable on a high school team because I had friends that was um there and girls that cheered there, like the captains and stuff for Weekway before I was a captain. We all was friends and stuff. It was close, so I was comfortable. I don't know if y'all know or not, but like Shabazz and Weekway, they is rivals, some shit. And um, I was supposed to be a bulldog, if you didn't know. So I danced my whole life before I got introduced to cheer by my older sister. And I danced my whole life, so I was supposed to dance for Shabazz. Fucked on Phil, nobody was there. But they said go inside the school. I was lost, I'm like, oh my God. So I just went to Weekway because it was much more simple. I was supposed to be a bulldog, so I was supposed to be yelling bd4l and shit but i'm an indian for life and what about it i was younger like all of the drama and beef my coaches kept me out of that they kept me and all my other friends out of that because they like y'all too young but now i understand why i understand why because let me tell y'all growing up cheering for a week away like it was really fun but it was a lot of drama like people i don't oh my god like how can i put it people were stealing they got kicked off the team it was mad stuff like why'd you stealing especially from all of us like how's we supposed to pay for us they stole one of my old coaches money 750 dollars that's damn near rent that's mad foul so we didn't get none of our stuff that year none of that cheering for week away it was really fun or whatever because i became captain but let me let y'all know a little secret too i was a co-captain before i became captain right but with the co-captain spot i almost got it snatched away because i wasn't on my shit and that's the main thing when you're a captain you have to be on your shit like being a captain is not just about bossing people around you feel me like that's not what it's about so with that being said yeah the fuck mm. but at the same time people think just because you're their captain right and y'all the same age and stuff they don't have to listen to you that's how like it was when I first started being captain because people feel like they didn't have to listen to me. First of all, I could fight. Second of all, what you doing all that for? Like they knew I was a captain. So they always took advantage of that. And I'm just like, yo, I used to look at Maddie and I then I used to look at Tanaya and I used to like Tanaya and Maddie. Cause we was like triple threat. We was the big three, you feel me? Cause all three of us was captains. We used to all be looking at them like, um, what's the point like what y'all doing all this for people used to do too much when i was cheering for weekly. they used to do too much oh my god cheering for weekly like i said it was fun it was lesson learning like everything was good but what ticked me off was them being dancers oh my god like, because i used to feel like they used to try to be funny but at the same time it was just miscommunication in the end and it was like towards the end of the season we all start getting closer. Well, the senior, my senior year season, um, we all start getting closer or whatever. So only because like one of my friends started dating and the band captain, or they was talking, they had something going on. Whatever it was between them two, I don't know, still don't know. And that's when we all start getting closer to the dancers because we like, oh, they cool, you feel me, they cool. But one thing I can say is when we went against Shabazz, like, on lives and all of that we all had each other back we was never sitting there like that's one thing i like about us like we all came together as a fuck family what are you talking about the band used to tick me off my junior year i didn't really wasn't junior year or was it senior year my senior year i didn't really want want to cheer for her anymore 
and I didn't want the cat to stop because this one girl, she kept doing too much over a ex. Like, oh my God, y'all, she used to do too much. So like, I'm, I'm gonna get y'all story time on that. But she used to just do too much over him and he used to just annoy the shit out of me. I talked to my coach, so she like, I was trying to be funny, she said, fuck her. Like, fuck her, fuck any other haters, it don't matter. And that went for the whole team. Like, when she was talking to me, she telling all us like, who cares about what these other teams got going on, what this girl got going on, she don't like you. Who gives a fuck? That was her main thing, so thank you, Coach Amanda, I love you. Last year, I got into it with one of the captains. Well, I was a captain too, but I got into it with one of the captains that was alongside of me. She was just doing too much, I think, or something like that. I feel like she was doing too much, so I was just like, shut up. I'll smack her and this and that. Yeah. I'ma put the, oh my God, if I find them voice, if I find them voice clips, voice messages, I'ma put them in here because, yo, that shit was hilarious and we cool now me and her we good whatever i coach her now because i'm a assistant coach for week ways you feel me so yeah i coach her now so it is what it is one thing i liked about cheering for week weight is we never held no grudges towards each other like we never had no grudges for real unless it was something i was real you know like <clears throat> like bitch i'll beat your ass like one thing i did hate is when like people used to be messy our coach used to allow um like little kids to be on the team like seventh graders eighth graders and it was annoying because yeah i started off when i was in like the seventh grade and stuff but i saw how the other girls felt like the older girls that was in high school already like felt how they felt because i'm like yo like most of the drama is coming from them little ass girls that was on the team and it was just annoying so i'm like we don't got time like we gotta get the show on the road and either way it go we didn't even really have to cut the seventh or eighth graders like the younger kids that was younger than us because they cut themselves like getting into fights all the time and stuff you're cut like you cannot be doing that especially if you're on a high school team because people look at that and not only if you getting in fights in school you're not even gonna be able to cheer for no other school like what was your point of even cheering you was gonna waste our time if you came here just for drama or something like Take that shit out the door, leave that shit out the door. Like, it was a fun experience, but like, it was some of the girls, like I wouldn't, I would say the new girls. I wouldn't say the old girls, but some of the new girls ticked me off because they didn't know how me, Maddie, Tanaya, they didn't know how like all our bonds and stuff were already. And it was a lot of like, kind of hating shit going on, not between the team for real, but yeah, like I would say like with the new ones or, people who insecure about themselves like that's for everybody though like insecure about themselves they want to go and pick on other people that's how people was with week way they felt like because everybody was saying we the best and we wore the boys jerseys and this and that they always felt like they were so insecure like about us like come on like i created all the week way battle chairs not all of them but well i created them and the rest of the team they just basically gave me the moves type shit basically i had so much fun like me as y'all know, I rap, I sing, I dance, I do all of that. But I'm also, like, I like poetry and stuff too. But I do do too much. I be getting into the business. But with me, it's all about logic. Like, I don't just put anything together. Like, I noticed that, like, some of the stuff from Shabazz was kind of Behringer's, you feel me? I basically took some moods and stuff from Behringer that I seen in Shabazz stuff. And I basically put it in a battle chair. And, like, um... B A All of that Y'all yeah, basically just took the stuff Like when you battling you gotta do your research You can't just do anything you feel me So that's how I created it So yeah my week with high school chair experience It was good for real Basketball season was so trash Oh my god I don't think it's the team It's literally the basketball players The basketball season I hate basketball season I never. That's why I, like when I get to college And if I chair I know I'm gonna be doing basketball season Cause we don't, I don't think we got a football team but I'm not playing with them. That basketball team better be rocking. That's all I'm gonna say, period. All right, so the next high school team I cheer for, Arts High School. All right, so my freshman year cheering with them, I broke some bones. When I tell y'all my leg was broke, my wrist was sprained, like it was mad stuff because that coach was just annoying. Like, oh my God, like y'all, I had the worst chair experience with arts freshman year, not senior year, freshman year, because we couldn't shake, we couldn't do nothing. How we doing stomp and shake, but we can't shake and barely stomp. Like, 
it was just annoying like it was just annoying so i had to stop cheering i just stopped going back like i just stopped going back like yeah i was broken down with my wrist and stuff and i actually was clear to come back but i didn't tell her that because i just didn't want to cheer no more for them because it was just annoying like freshman year was just annoying. oh my god um fast forward to senior year um i felt like when i got on the team I wasn't really welcomed. Like, I was welcomed by the coach and the captains and stuff. I wasn't really welcomed by, like, some of the other people on the team. Me and Zay, we started cheering for arts at the same time senior year again. And they felt like when we first got on the team, like, we thought we knew everything and all of that. But I'm like, how y'all let us come on the team and kind of not even take over, but take over for real like because it's like the captain didn't have no problem with it the coach didn't have no problem with it nothing well i heard the captain did have a little problem with it but i'll get into that they didn't really show us that we that it was a problem with us teaching chairs and stuff when we was teaching chairs and stuff how the other like the other people on the team mad at us because we want to teach chairs like it was just annoying my whole thing is i'm not somebody that feel like i know everything about chair like i was a captain before so if it felt like I was taking over something. It wasn't that I was taking over. I'm not used to being a regular person on the team. Like I'm not used to somebody without a leadership role. I, I'm put it like that. So like when we first got on the team, people feel like we thought we knew everything and that wasn't the case. It just, we came from a team that is more like, you know, popular. That's more popular, that's more into stomp and shake and really know what they doing with the stomp and shake. I'm put it like that. Like, and our coach, she even told us, our coach for arts told us like, She's not really a stomp and shake coach. She's more of a competitive coach. And then we got a better understanding. Well, it was mostly the sophomores. They felt like we thought we knew everything, but that wasn't the case at all. So, yeah, that was never the case. They used to do too much over boys. Like, it used to just be too much. And the basketball plays wasn't even all that, like, if we really be for real. But, like, my whole thing is, be for real. Like, over boys, over this and that. I remember one girl tried to start with Zay over this boy talking because she jumped for a boy and i'm like yo like we saying it like what you doing all that for just because she jumped for a boy like that's mad stupid that's weird her own sister i got see and i heard it and it's all on camera so what you saying it's talking about for come on when we went to florida it was fun and everything but i didn't like how when we got back to school people tried to pin stuff on me and my girl sophia like they tried to say that we was calling this girl dirty and we was talking about this girl and my whole thing is that wasn't even the case either like that's the key words of the day the key fucking sentence that wasn't even the case you feel me that wasn't even the case for real y'all on behalf of me and sophia if y'all hear anything or if y'all heard anything, the only thing we said was that that girl, you know, didn't wash her eyes. For people to really go to our coach and do all that, that was just extra, I feel like. It most definitely was needed because we needed to humble ourselves. So, yeah, that was that. But I washed my ass. But anyways, cheering for a week way in arts, I would say I love the stop and shake part of week way. And I love the competition part of arts because I got two different experiences. A lot of people needed to humble themselves. It really had to always take the same people to humble people. Like, on both teams. Like, it, like for arts, it was me and Zay. We had to humble people. For week way, it was me, Zay, and Tanaya. We had to humble people. Like, maybe we, we was really the big three. So, on a team, it always takes that one person or that one coach to humble somebody. So, cheer for high school, it was really fun. And I'm so glad that I won't be able to do it again so glad because i can't deal with it no more like it would just get annoying sometimes because people they are just extra and with me i like being to myself like chair was always my happy place and still is my happy place but i just feel like people made it a bad place for me they got me to a point where i did not want to be there anymore like at all i didn't want to chair no more i didn't want to flip tumble nothing don't sit there and try to make it seem like I'm this drama filled person and stuff because you're miserable so you want to start with me no because that was never the case it was never the case like y'all can see like y'all see my room is peaceful it's not like it's good but y'all see how I'm talking right now this is how I am this is how I talk like literally like just get to know me that's all I was saying like what our chair team they didn't get a chance to know me like some people they really didn't get a chance to know me some people took their time and others really didn't they just judged me off rip oh i thought i was the queen of cheer i knew everything 
excuse my language, bitch, I am the queen. I am, and what about it? I'm a whole coach for high school now. I'm a assistant coach at that. Let's be for real. Even before that, like, as soon as I stopped training for week weight, I went straight into coaching week weight with Coach Amanda, assistant coach. Basketball season, now football season. I, but even before I was coaching high school, I was coaching Jules Elite. I was a junior coach. And what about it? I was the tumbling coach. What about it? Oh, Jenna this big personality. Hell yeah, I'm a big personality. And what about it? Uh, both teams, I had a good time on both teams. My message to people on both teams is just humble yourself. Stay humble. Don't be insecure. Don't talk about nobody. And if you need help with any chairs or anything, just hit me up because you know I'm good for it. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Go watch my recent video if you didn't. So with that being said, see y'all. Bye. Talk about problems all day. So that's why it's no peace here today. Everybody got issues. Like, yeah, I get pressed, but that's why I keep my shit straight. Talk about it, be about it, what's next? Been new, these males obsessed. I don't care about no clout or a text. They go hit my phones, they see that I left. Jana.